Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you Visual Studio 2017 for Mac and my first impressions of it. So first I headed to visualstudio.com and I installed Visual Studio for Mac. Uh, for time purpose this I've done and right now I can start up Visual Studio. So what's gonna happen now, Visual Studio bring up the known interface from Visual Studio for Windows where you can choose your existing project or you can create a new project. It looks a bit, little bit different uh, than we used to on the Microsoft side, but it is pretty familiar with the Windows side. So what we're seeing right now is the start button or where you can debug your program. You can choose default. That's, I guess, for your target machine, if you're uh, debugging on an actual hardware device in the browser, in a console application whatsoever. You're seeing the Gestara section where, I guess, the latest news are uh, displayed or the, the same thing on the right. You can sign into your Microsoft account, which I'm doing not now. Uh, the thing that I'm going to do is I am creating a new project. Yeah, that looks... Yeah, pretty the same like Windows. You can choose your, your platform and then you can choose your type of of thing you want to create. It's an app, it's a library, test whatsoever. We're going for a console application, which is in the .NET Core. Uh, one thing to mention here, which is for Mac, does not include the .NET framework itself. You can only build .NET Core functionality. At least that is my knowledge to this point of view at time. So we are going to create web application, web AP. No, we're going to create for our console application because that is basically the very, very basic thing you will do wherever you start programming. Then we can go there and create a project name. So this is our demo. Uh, solution name, which is totally fine demo. The location and project, that's also fine. That's the, uh, not the same. On, on Windows, you also get your user documents folder with the, the version number of Visual Studio. Uh, you can use Git for version controller, which we don't want to use right now. And we're hitting create. So one thing, I guess, which is different between the Mac and the Windows, if you're seeing the start, the start screen, the solution manager, this guy here is on the left-hand side. Usually on Windows, this is on the right. You can move it, so no worry. And the toolbox is on the left. That's just one thing. All right. So we can open up our project and we see our dependencies, which should be empty, and our program, which should have the main function and the hello world. So if you're hitting right now on the play button, all right, so we've got some errors, but the restoring packages for solution is still in progress. So this could take a little time, especially on the first run. So we are skipping forward at this point here, right now in the video. Well, actually, I had to restart my internet connectivity and my Wi-Fi connection. So we are right now finishing our, the package install and process. And you see right there, the first initial start, we got 137 packages to install for this application, which seems quite a lot. So right now, if I'm hitting run, it's building the application, it's running it, and then We have to enter our pass. Oh, it's my username and the password. And we're seeing right now our output. All right, if you're not going back and we're looking at our application, it's a simple Hello World application, but it does not do very much. So we want at least add let's say we want to add a static class so we should be going right there 
uh, on Windows it's add new class or add file depending on where you are. So we're going to add file and the class and let's say we want here a classic console helper for whatever reason. Um, we want to say public static class. We don't need the constructor here and we have here a public. Oh, they, the IntelliSense look pretty nice. That kind of reminds me on the IntelliSense on Xcode. Public static, white. And let's say print line because why not? It's a more generic name. Oh, it automatically closes the. Oh, not nice little text here. All right, and that's basically it. We go back in our program, and there we are calling our console helper print line. This is a initial test. And we're hitting run again. This is an initial test. Here we go. Yeah, it opened up a uh, console view like on, on any Windows machine. That's pretty, pretty neat. And right now I am a little bit a little bit curious how to read something, but let's do this. Better static string. Come on. Read. No, let's say read, read line. I'm not sure if, if there is read line command, but return console line. Here we go. We have a spelling error and switch back to our program. Let's say we want uh, var uh, input. So we have for read line and then we want to output the input because why not? And then just to stop the application right there. Simple trick. But I have seen the application is still not terminating. So we go in there and we say, hello, I am a console input. Hitting enter. And there we go. There is the exact same message. And then we were hitting another enter we're getting our, term, our application terminated. Well, so my first impression of this Visual Studio thing is pretty, pretty neat. I, I mean, I love to develop on a Mac environment because I don't know, I, <coughs> I just like the environment and the ecosystem and Visual Studio at this time of view, uh, integrates pretty, pretty neat. Uh, you can code your .NET uh, applications or at least .NET Core applications right there. Uh, before you had to use Mono, uh, I, I think Visual Studio uh, for Mac uh, uses Mono in the background. I, I didn't make any research of this, but I, I guess I heard it somewhere. Whatsoever, you got our you got your applications there. You can use uh, version control like we've seen before. You got very very familiar with uh, Visual Studio on Windows, so you try to rebuild there. You also have you also have uh, the NuGet packet manager somewhere. Exactly, you can do there. You can go there and uh, install any NuGet packages, like any unit which I'm using all the time. JSON.NET, very, very famous. And there we go. You can also yeah pre-release. It's I guess on the right here on Windows, but that's basically very, very fine. Yeah, 
Hey guys, let me know what you think about Visual Studio 2017 for Mac. If you're thinking you're gonna use this program or you wanna stay at your Windows machines because as I told you in the beginning, uh, this Mac version of Visual Studio does not uh, have all the features which the Windows version has, but it got a lot. So please let me know what you think about it and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.